Morning, everybody. We are The Breakfast Club. I'm DJ Envy. Now, and I go by the name of Charlemagne the God. Uh, we're the world's most dangerous morning show now. I mm-hmm. forgot that we are a very diverse workplace here at The Breakfast Club. We yeah. have uh, v- Vicky V. She's Dominican. Answer two questions, V. <laughs> Do Dominican men love wearing white jeans and white um, pants? Does your dad, your uncle, have white pants? <laughs> Stop trying to sway the simple question, V. Yes, we do. We See? Do. We do. Okay. See? All right. See? Next question. No, one more. Is the official uniform of Dominicans in the New York area a Giants jersey and white jeans? They love the Yankees, Yankees. but not the See? Giants. That's okay. The Yankees. Yankees okay. It's the Yankees, for sure. Okay. So it's not a stereotype if it's true. We were both correct. Yes, both correct. <laughs> Yankee fans and then empanadas. That's college. I ain't saying, saying no, nothing about no empanadas. empanadas. What is it? Chimichurris. Chimichurris. What the hell is what that? What is a chimichurri? It's, a, um, it's bread, right? You get it at Washington Heights. Oh, with the cinnamon and sugar? No. Oh, never mind. A, <laughs> I thought that was a chimichurri. With the, you get it at the carnival. No. <laughs> What's a chimichurri? What, what, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, no, that's a a chimichurri is, right? You can get steak or you can get chicken and it's a bread and you toast it. It got a whole bunch of sauces, you know? Okay. Yeah. Go to Washington Heights. All right. Okay. Well, thank you, V. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to the rumors. Let's go. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. All right. Let's start with Tory Lanez. So Tory Lanez has been released from house arrest. Now, the judge said that he has given the green light to travel outside of his home so he can properly prepare for the case with his legal team. So uh, it, it doesn't say any restrictions that, that he has. It just seems like he can move out and about. So I'm sure he can uh, hop on a road if he wants to and make some money. They're not giving him restrictions, but he can prepare for his case. Now, uh, Yamilo, is that his name? Milo, the guy that was with, running around with Kanye West, the right wing extremist. Is that his name? Milo. Milo. Yes, Milo. Yeah. He sent Kanye West a bill for $116,000 for advice. Uh they don't say if Kanye is going to uh, pay it. They've been saying recently that Kanye is hurting. They're saying that the IRS hit him for a huge fee, and he has uh, staff that he hasn't been paid as of yet, allegedly, and they don't know if he can actually pay this $116,000. Uh, you remember that Cadillac in uh, Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent's PIMP video? All right, pretty dope. If you like it, it says Snoop 66 on it. They're actually about to auction that vehicle off. So if you want that vehicle, you want a car that's uh, driven by Snoop Dogg, you can actually get it. I'm a bit on that. Hopefully, I can get it from one of the car shows, and you guys can check it out. And lastly, T.I. was uh, doing a podcast. I believe he was doing his own podcast uh, expeditiously, and he was talking about the time he told on his dead cousin. Please pull us over. Pull us over. I have a gun. Why are we going through the court press? <laughs> and so we caught no gun cases. My lawyer said, well, you know, I can make everything go away if it if it was Tremel's. After he had passed, I had a talk with him. And what to say? To say, I take all the charges you got. Mm. If you can walk away free and put it on me, God damn right. So is that so, what boys giving you about because you put it on? No, nah, hell no. Nah, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Don't nobody even know about that. I just volunteered. This <laughs> <is>. <laughs> Don't nobody even know about that. I'm just being honest. Yeah. That's the only time. Mm. Bitchy. I done never said or gave no information about nobody because that's my cousin, my big cousin. Mm. He was dead, and he told me that it was okay. <laughs> All right. I, I I don't I don't care either way. I'm 44 years old. I'm telling regardless. I don't care if you're dead or alive. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't play them street games. I'm a 44 year old taxpaying citizen. So what are they trying to say? What well, I don't, I don't get. Well, what of they... course they're saying that he's he's a rat. But uh, I will say this too. Um, yes, it makes sense. And if I'm passed and somebody can put some charges on me so they can be okay, I'm not mad at that. What am I gonna be mad at when I'm in my grave? No. Yes. Say me. Yes. Absolutely. Hold on now. Explain to me what y'all are talking about this morning on this radio. I don't, I'm so confused. T.I.'s cousin had passed. I heard that part. And I guess they're saying that T.I. said that the guns uh, were his cousins. That was yes. dead. That's smart. That's makes oh, okay. sense. Yeah, That's yeah, a perfect yeah, yeah. lawyer. Right. I don't see nothing yeah. wrong with that. Got you. Are you guys okay. idiots out there? Are you guys too tough? You, you like, And I'm just letting everybody out. I'm, I'm a taxpaying I'm citizen. A guy. I ain't I'm no a street dude. So. I, you ain't got to be dead for me to snitch on you. Yeah, I'm, at all. I'm hey, it ain't even snitching. I am a uh, concerned citizen. When you see something, say something. He did. All right? I right am keeping our streets safe. Oh, that guy right okay. there. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I don't commit no crime around me, all right? As soon as they come ask me questions, I know everything. <laughs> I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right? I see. I saw it all, I Mr. Officer. I know where there's a dead body. Uh, I ain't know I know where a dead body is. Come on. Let me ride with you. I'll show you where it's at.
All right. Okay. Can't, can't wait for y'all to see the next episode of East New York. How things change. <laughs> <laughs> How things change so fast on CBS. There's <laughs> somebody out there listening to this like, man, they making fun of snitching. I ain't no street dude. Okay, I'm a 44-year-old taxpaying citizen, father of four, husband, all right? Okay, if I see something, I'm saying something. And I've watched enough Spider-Man to know that if Spider-Man would have just stopped that dude after he robbed that wrestling promoter, Uncle Ben would still be alive today. My goodness. Okay? All right. Okay. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Now, who are you giving that donkey to? Uh, four after the hour, man. Donkey of the day, man. I need MC, MSCHF to come to the front of the congregation. They're an American art collective uh, based out of Brooklyn. We need to talk about this activation y'all had at our battle, people. All right, we'll get yes. to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.